I saw something on the Twitter we're going to talk about before we get to the thing. Um, and I know I just I, I cannot wait for the fucking comments this week because I'm setting off a bomb right now. Ah! Um, have you heard about the Snyder Cut? <laughs> Sorry. T t Tara, Tara, t today Snyder said something that he says it's going to be insane. Tara, do you know what he's going to do? Do you know it's what he's going to be crazy? It's, it's, it's just going to. Batman says, oh, la, la. <gasps> No! It's going to be four hours long. <laughs> Like, I understand that he had a terrible family tragedy and he yes. felt that this work was unfinished. Yeah. I understand that. And if you want to release your own cut of the movie, I get that. He's basically remaking it, though. Yeah. And, and I love like how they much. He spent like 100 mil mm -hmm. and he's adding characters. Uh -huh. And I think at this point it's going to cross over with Spider Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not the Snyder cut anymore, it's a whole new movie. <laughs> And I'm, I'm sure AT and T, who are in so much debt right now, and they have thrown so much money at this man, <laughs> and it's. I'm just going to go ahead and make the prediction. I don't think it's going to be better. It's going to be there, and if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. HBO Max, but... so I'm gonna watch it because I love Schneid. <laughs> Like, what did we watch? I made this poor man sit through like an hour of the live Grinch musical last week. I love crap. So I'll probably watch it because I love crap. I don't. So I yeah, won't. Most people don't. That's a thing that's weird about me. Is I enjoy things that are shiny. But... And not in an ironic way. But Batman says, Yo, no. that's that's deep. That's 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 mature. And Superman kicks puppies. Uh, I get it. Like you never grew out of your angry teenager thing. We get it. We I, I, I think was it's that fine. um it's not fine. That Ben Fold song, Rock of the Suburbs. Yes. You better watch out because I'm gonna say night. You better watch out because I'm gonna say uh, anyway. Like someday Zack Snyder will grow up and be a real boy. <laughs> Comments are going to be on fire, and I love it because I don't read into, them. And then he'll turn into Christopher Nolan. Oh God, nice. Nolan, man! All right, before we—I I know we're, we're we're going on here a bit, but Nolan and that whole Warner Brothers saying we're releasing all the movies at the same time, and we're not consulting everybody. That might be, yeah. But then here comes Christopher Nolan, who is yeah, partial. Kind of it's kind of a novel without a hero. Yeah, he, no, no one is kind of responsible for the situation. And here he is like, hey, you shouldn't do that. Because Meanwhile, um, he was like, no, all the theaters have to open back up for my movie. You shouldn't do that because um, unions and things. I am the champion of the little man and night and tenant. You can disagree with Warner Brothers and also agree that Christopher Nolan should shut the f*** up. Yeah. Two it's, things can be true at the same time. They can be true at the same time. And two people on, like, there can be a fight where both people suck. Mm-hmm. I make him watch Marriage Boot Camp, too. That happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Let's get the intro going. God help us. Each week, Catherine... Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, we're going to start off this week, th this is not really a story, um, and, and I want to stress, I don't make fun of how people look if it's inherent to what they are, okay, you know, if it's just, you know, you're, if that's you, that's you, however, something you can't change, when you make choices, I have to speak on this, and the story is kind of mundane. It's just I saw the freaking um, mugshot, and I was like, "Well, here, Terry, you, you let let's let's just not going to take long on this, but we we have to see." Holy God, that is a hairstyle. That is a choice. Okay. That is wow. Wow. Is that the Scorpion King? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that's a that's somewhat she went into a hair salon somewhere and they did this to her and they she actually gave them money i'll tell you where she went into a black salon <laughs> and she's a white lady <laughs> and i'm here to tell you fellow white ladies don't do that <sighs> cornrows do not belong to us it's not just cor it's like there's like things going it's like a, a crown kind of thing yeah. going on it's it's i don't oh no that's and also if you're gonna do crime they're gonna figure you out it's it's not yeah. hard to find your ass but as a person who has had a rather notable head of hair my entire life i had to choose not to go into a life of crime <laughs> because i would have to dye my hair brunette and i'm not willing to make that sacrifice <sighs> all right next one is our first story um wow um so this this we got video we're starting off with video um <laughs> uh where's there it is there's the video let's, let's bring it on over here get that up here and give you the link and i will play the video while we get started um i don't un why what what why what if, if you're oh, watching you right now yeah Say you're sitting on your plane, you're getting on, you're on the runway, you're getting ready to taxi, you're getting ready to leave. You look out on the wing of the plane. There's a dude on the wing of the plane. And you are not William Shatner. And they, they, they're all like, come down. And he's all like, no, he's taking off his shoes and socks. He's pulling up his pants and he's trying to climb to the highest point on the wing. Like, calm down, Joe, no, you're gonna yell at me. <laughs> like, what was your plan once you got up? <laughs> he's not having much luck with the try. He's trying his heart out to climb it. God bless him, <laughs> but he's not having much luck. But like, why? What were you gonna do once and you now, got up there? And now they're actually on the way. Oh, oh, he's fine, by the way. But, uh... And then quite suddenly, the pilot came over the intercom and went, don't eat the brown acid. <laughs> <laughs> what? The like, like that Foo Fighters video. We're going to have to tell everybody not to drink the coffee today. <laughs> what? Dave Grohl's on the plane and he left his whole stash of weed in the filter. <laughs> what What in the, the name of what the fuck? What, why? Yeah, what was what was the point? I, I, I'm pretty sure bl drugs were involved. What, what was the thing that you were trying to accomplish? <laughs> How did you even get on the tarmac? He climbed over the fence. <gasps> onto he didn't go th which is that is that is one of the weirdest things about airport security, okay? We have all There's these so much security at the front door. Yeah. We have all these procedures where you have to to take off your shoes and go through the scanner and people can see your digital butt and all that shit. Meanwhile, the entire airport is enclosed in a chain link fence. It ain't even electrified or nothing. No. You can climb it. You got a pair of bolt cutters. You're going right through it. You can wander out onto the tarmac and it's do like whatever you, you want. House and you had like 30 locks and a security camera on your front door, but just left your back door open. Mm hmm. <laughs> How is an airport not having an electric fence? Because we're not the security theater. Google it. Right. Most um, of our security is bullshit. Yeah. But just, okay, so the, reenacting liar, liar. Um, not, not, you know, not a, no, okay, he didn't have a stair car, I guess, so, but. Not as funny in real life. No. Because now everybody has to wait when they capture your ass. The Much plane like is delayed. most of the ways the guy gets the girl in a romantic comedy, it's not going to work out in real life. Most of the ways a guy gets a girl in a romantic comedy are misdemeanors at best right much like those you're just gonna get arrested mm -hmm. it is i don't because a late plane it's kind of like dominoes yeah if one plane is late 
And then the plane behind them is a little bit late. And the plane behind them is a little bit late. That's a scheduling problem at the next airport because they're waiting for your ass at the uh, gate. And that's, the, that's yep. if that takes longer than the next plane and has to wait. Later and later and later. Mm-hmm. The first flight is 10 minutes late. The next one is 30 minutes late. The next one's an hour. So you have, you, you have in, you know, all of these people around the world, this energy of, of it's all on you, man. You, it's coming you know, like back. In Good Omens, when Crowley says like he took down the cell towers because the wave of low grade evil would spread and multiply. Yeah, that's you. That's you. <laughs> I don't. I love, I love how he's like trying to climb the wing higher when they're standing right there. Like, sir, can you just can, can we stop? Like, there's now? nowhere to go. No, I could get an additional five feet above you. Then I'll be free. <laughs> Then I'll be trapped here forever. Crack, not even once. All right. <laughs> this one is just this next story is especially for you, Tara. I think I think you're gonna love this. This is this is right up your alley. You're, you're gonna you're you're gonna feel good about the world after this one. Mm-hmm. Um, I sense sarcasm. Flamethrower drones, <laughs> incinerate wa- incinerate wasp nests in China. A drone has been converted into a flying flamethrower in a fiery campaign to eradicate more than 100 wasp nests. Blue Sky Rescue, a volunteer group that conducts search and rescue and other emergency work, have teamed up with villagers in Zong County. Uh, They raised $12,000 to buy a drone and equip it with a gasoline tank and an arm-length nozzle. Video released by Blue Sky shows a recent mission by the six armed drone. It hovers above a hive as a large switch uh, as a suitcase before swift moving down. The drone operator flips the ignition switch and the drone spits bursts of fire onto the hive. I cannot see this going wrong in any way, shape, yeah. or form. Like, this is like when they release the snakes to eat the mice, and then they have to release the mongooses to eat the snakes. <laughs> And then the wolves to eat the mongo. Like, this seems unsafe. I just. Uh, and I'm sure those drones aren't at all hackable. Now, admittedly, these wasps are probably a fucking issue. I, I mean, can... if, it, if it's the murder hornets, I kind of get it. Yeah, I just. If yeah. it's one of those fuckers, like in Asia, they have wasps and hornets that are this big, man. And if it's one of those little fuckers, I get it. But on the other hand, there's so many ways this could go fucking wrong. Yeah, like that is a tree that that nest is in. First of all, I mean, and those are flammable. You have taken a drone and you have piled it down with an explosive. You have made a flying bomb. It it it, will, it can and will explode. And like I said, I'm sure they're completely impossible to hack. No, they're not. It's it's pretty simple because they're even at twelve, even at twelve thousand dollars, they build the shit cheap as hell. Yeah. Hmm. Just I'm the fuck, man. Like I, I understand that you need to create a creative solution to this problem, especially if it is the murder hornets or the giant hornets or whatever. But um, I mean, don't don't. Couldn't you have, like, rented a ladder truck? Well, they probably don't want a person getting close to them. Well, yeah, but you could, you know, put the fucking gear... Like, do you want to be the guy with a baseball bat up in the cherry picker? I... (laughs) (laughs) Who who draws the the, the short straw for that? Right, like... So, like, I understand you need a ranged attack and fire is effective. I just feel like it's going to go horribly wrong at some point. All right, next one is from th- this kind of went across social media over the weekend and everybody was like, "What? The fuck? How? I have been to Wisconsin, okay? I I I spent uh a couple of uh summers and winters in Wisconsin back when I was in college. Nice place, I loved it. Beautiful territory, just great. Never experienced this tradition. They do put noodles in their chili, but I didn't experience this and this just, I was at a fucking loss. Cannibal sandwich scare. Wisconsin officials urge families to pass on holiday tradition 
of eating raw meat. Okay. Wow. The word cannibal has a very I specific know. It meaning. It does. It does. Is that what this means? No, it's not what it means. Okay. Because um, what what they mean it it should be carnivore sandwich, but they call it a cannibal sandwich because like, if they're eating people in Wisconsin, <laughs> that's a bigger um, problem. The Wisconsin Department of Health is urging resident residents to put down their cannibal sandwiches, also known as raw meat sandwiches, tiger meat, or steak tartare. Many Wisconsin families consider them to be a holiday tradition. Eating them poses a threat for salmonella, E. coli, pretty much everything that's going to make your asshole just do amazing, horrible things. Is this a thing that people do? Milwaukee Journal Sentinel uh, included these sandwiches often served with raw onions. It's 2018 list of Wisconsin's favorite holiday culinary traditions. Why? why? I know, yeah, it's just why they don't explain the tradition just here. Raw meat, raw meat sandwich with onions. Raw meat with with fucking onions. Like was 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 not using spices not enough for these white people? <laughs> not even use fire. Because I'm the white people that don't like spices. I like things very bland. <laughs> but that's a whole other level. I it's this I yeah I live in Wisconsin never heard of this I because I, for a few seconds I was like is this like a rainbow party thing is this not but no apparently this is a, a thing I guess why would you may be surprised to find that it tastes better when cooked uh -huh. really <laughs> I I just, just what the fuck? Cannibal <laughs> sandwich. It's not, it's a, it's a carnivore. It's not, you guys See, use you know, the like, I was raised by Irish people and Irish people fucking cremate meat. <laughs> they and cremate we to, meat they, and they boil. When we went to, yeah. It, when we went to Ireland a few years ago, this guy tried to order his burger medium and they looked at him like he'd started singing God Save the Queen. <laughs> 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 they were like, oh, we don't do that here. It's well done. And I was like, yeah, this whole country is, it's what, like, they, it's like, it's a fucking witch in Massachusetts. Like, they, <laughs> they either set it on, flavor they either, I was a grown up. they either set it on fire or they drown it. Yes. I mean, they, they, they boil shit so hard that bones fall apart. Like, the Irish treat meat like it's witches. <laughs> <laughs> You either have to submerge it or burn it. Uh, so, we have, so this is especially galling to me because I was raised on leather. Uh, all right. We have an Australia story next. Um, I don't. Th this is really someone did not think it through. <laughs> Why are people so bad at these things? Um. Man attempts escape from alleged break and enter on a ride on lawnmower. Man has been charged. You don't go very fast. <laughs> allegedly breaking into a home and fleeing on the back of a lawnmower. 30 year old man allegedly threw a brick into the window of a home uh, before entering and stealing a Ford Focus. Now, first of all, what a Ford fo of all the fucking a Ford Focus. It's faster than a lawnmower. Um, Paul Robinson saw the drama breaking out at his neighbor's house and didn't think before risking himself to help. He had the man at a headlock as the Ford Focus took off and slammed into a parked trailer. He tried to get the ignition key off them and tried to hang on as he hit the accelerator. Um, Robinson was dragged about 40 meters for the car trash. He was fine. Um, the man fled the scene on foot before allegedly breaking into another home and attempting to drive off on a riding lawnmower. So it wasn't I, his first choice of getaway vehicle. But even I don't know about you. I have have you seen a riding lawnmower? Yes. You can run faster yes. than a riding lawnmower. It's not <laughs> like they're not fast. It's it they, they're gonna give you. 
It's it's they're not. I mean, they can take a leisurely stroll. Yeah, they're gonna the bike, catch the bike. Cop is gonna get you. The cop and that's on just the embarrassing. The Segway cop is gonna get you. And that's even more embarrassing because he works at the mall. <laughs> I I get busted by Paul Blart. <laughs> So you have already failed at Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. And your second choice. <laughs> and think about, he was failed, he failed stealing an actual car because he was taken down by a man on foot. <laughs> and then he chose a ride on mower. Maybe you should it's just. It's get easier. Maybe you should maybe give up. Yeah. I think, I think you, you would be better served by just, you know, my give up. Maybe you've done enough crime today. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, you're you're bad at it. Maybe it's not the career for you. Oh, and that's okay. Like I said, it's not the career for me because I have I have giant red hair. Ah, <laughs> uh, this next story. I I don't entirely blame them for this. It's gonna. It sounds weird when you hear the headline. Because when you see what they brought home, you're going to be like, yeah, you're probably right on that. Um, normally, for this kind of thing, the people who, who do this, I'm like, what the fuck were you thinking? But this one gets even weirder. Mother and daughter who unwittingly took a World War II grenade home escaped death as it explodes in their kitchen. Now, first of all, you're sitting there going, what kind of idiot takes a grenade home? This is what it looked like. I, my whole screen is full of ads. I can't even see the article. Here we go. That, that's what it looks like. That, does that look like a grenade to you? No. That, I don't know what the, the I, I, what the fuck happened there? But it, the, what is that? Did, like, coral grow around it? it wax. <laughs> Apparently it was in wax. Oh. Mother and daughter are lucky to be alive after an 80-year-old World War II grenade they found on the beach exploded in their kitchen sink. Um, Jody Cruz, 38, and her daughter Isabella of Kent um, initially thought the grenade was a fossil or old bone. Posted photos of, on fossil and archaeology sites and a lot of replies, but no one suggested it could be a grenade. I, who would? Look at that. Yeah. One woman. All right. This is the one where things get weird. One woman thought it looked like whale vomit, which would be ambergris. Which and, is, you get a lot of money for yeah, that. And said, I could find out by poking it with a hot pin. She said a <sighs> puff of white smoke would come out. However, Miss Cruz and Isabella received the shock of their lives when the grenade suddenly burst into flame. Um, Miss Cruz said, it turned into a fireball. My daughter screamed and ran out of the back door. I grabbed the grenade and ran with it at arm's length into the kitchen when I hurled it into the sink. And here is the sink. That's that's the sink now. Um. So, uh. The grenade burned itself out in the sink, put melted part of the plastic windowsill, damaged the sink, and filled the house with smoke. What the? See, I wouldn't take it home because it looks like an alien egg. Yeah. I, okay. I will give them I'd this. Be like, whatever that is, I don't want it in my house. Yeah. If, what? A, I have, if if you see something like this and you're not, I'm not thinking that that's coming home with me. That's that looks my like new, a fucking curled up face hugger. That that's I'm not interested. That does not look like my friend. That. <gasps> That that looks like something that, that I think I've mentioned before. I used to have friends who lived in Waterbury, Connecticut, and down the street from them, this guy had in his basement a live World War II missile, and it was down there for like twenty years since he bought the house, and he just never got around to dealing with it. <laughs> And finally, one day, I guess today was the day, he called and was like, hey, somebody, you know, I've had this thing in my basement. I don't know what it is. It was a live World War II era missile. I don't know why it was in the basement of a house in Connecticut, but they Man, had to evacuate the whole street. You would not believe what servicemen bring home. Yeah. You, li you, would, you would literally would not believe this shit. They, and it's a bunch of shit they really shouldn't bring home. 
It's a bunch of very expensive shit that the Pentagon paid for that they really shouldn't bring home. I don't know how you would get this. And it was like, they had to evacuate the whole street. Like, my friends couldn't go home all day because they were like, if this thing blows, it's going to take out the whole block. Just look, I I would not say, that does not say bring me home. No. That says bury me. And I know, like I said, like whale vomit will catch you a lot of money because it's used in the fragrance industry and it's hard to get, but... If you like, they didn't say they thought that's what it was. They said someone told them, which means they took it home first. Yeah, don't, don't, just that. That's not your friend. That's not your buddy. Our last one's from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and um, I've, I've had. Okay, we've all dealt with this shit in our lives with a bank deposit. You put it in the bank. And it's supposed to go through at a second at a certain time, and you're counting on it to go through at a certain time. And you go ahead and you make the you, the payment you're supposed to make. And oopsie, the deposit doesn't go through like it should, and you're fucking overdrawn. And here's your fucking fee, and fuck you. Sorry, Mildred went to lunch. Um, well, that's that that's happened, and it's pissed me off. I never took this tack with it though. Man, angry deposit had it cleared through an animal trap through Ann Arbor Bank window. Wow. Man became angry when he took his, told his direct deposit hasn't cleared yet, took his anger out on his bank, throwing a heavy animal trap and concrete chunks through the building's window. Stephen Lee Wallace, 51, old enough to know better, was arraigned Friday on two felony counts of malicious destruction of property after being arrested for allegedly throwing various heavy items through the windows of Chase Bank in Ann Arbor. Wallace told, was told his deposit hadn't cleared yet, leading him to grow frustrated and angry, yelling at employees as he left the bank. Once outside, Wallace apparently uprooted a mailbox, tied the front door shut with guitar string, and proceeded to bang on the front door. <laughs> He then began throwing various objects at the ATM outside before picking up an animal trap with a concrete base and throwing it through the window. So this escalated quickly. Yeah. Um. I think they're going to keep your deposit. Yeah. Just. I, wow. Like, I get it. Big banks suck. They do. Chase Bank in particular. You know fault it is not the people that work at the counter. Yeah, they have no they, they have no decision making ability whatsoever. No. They're not allowed to make choices. You should definitely not throw large chunks of concrete at them. Yeah, people are like, was it his animal trap? I don't think so, because he was on a bike. So where did he get yeah, I don't weird. know? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> get all this shit. Guitar string and, 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 a, and, and a mailbox and shit. Did he happen to be filming the Snyder Cut nearby and <laughs> Superman had just destroyed the IHOP? <laughs> I just you know, I tied the door shut with a guitar. This, what the fuck happened here? Where did you get a guitar string? I play one and I don't even have one on me at most times. Like who just carries that around? It's just this man sounds unstable. No injuries reported. Damage caused the bank estimated to be more than ten thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure that the cost of bail and the damages is way more than that deposit was. Yeah, they're gonna keep your money. They they they're gonna keep and and then some. Yeah. She picked up a chunk of concrete and threw it through the drive-through window before leaving on his bike. And now I'm thinking, he's a little ding, and how ding, badass ding, did ding. you look riding away? <laughs> <laughs> I showed them. Was, you don't, you don't get to just walk away after this. It's not like you know. I've worked it out of my system. I'm good now. Thanks, everybody. I'm feeling yeah. much better. No, no. I'm it's like, I'm a thrower. When I get mad, I want to throw shit. I understand the impulse, but like I throw my own shit. And I don't throw it at a building that is not mine. 
I just like went. all through college, my cordless phone rattled because when I get angry, that was the thing I took it out on. I'd throw it at the wall. <laughs> but sometimes my calls didn't go through, and if you shook my phone, it rattled because you, I had a bad temper. You realize a bunch of youngins just went, "What's a cordless phone?" Yeah. Yeah. Um. Back in the Paleozoic age, and to, we to, used to have landlines. To compound this, you're doing it to a bank. Yeah. That's not a good thing to do because they, no. they, they, they tend to read hostile intentions in a very particular way at a and bank. And it's a big corporate bank, and they own America. Yeah, they do. So uh, they're not going to let you get away with it. Just, I fucking... Jesus... Christ, you fucking! I have been angry. Learn how to control yourself a little bit. I have been, I have been angry, and I have taken it out on people who sometimes it was not their fault. I, I that was not a good thing for me to have done in the past. But I've never. I, I at least I can console myself with the fact that maybe I stormed out of a place. I didn't do this. You didn't pick up a cinder block and throw it through a window of a business. Nope. Or an animal try just. Uprooted a mailbox. Just do it, fucking. This is this is this is like White Boy Hulk. Is what this is. You don't quite turn into, but you're still got the you got that rage going on. So you're like the Hulk, only in little White Boy body. <laughs> and then you go home what? and get on Twitter and talk about how women are too emotional to <laughs> hold important jobs. <laughs> I guess, I guess the first thing we we learned this week is cope. Yeah. Um, it's 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 it, it, it helps. There it are does. free apps for meditation now, man. <laughs> just take a minute. Um, just, we've just count to five, pull it together. We've learned that if something looks like it came from the outer dark, don't bring it home. <laughs> That is some welcome to Night Vale shit. I gotta show, I gotta show you the fucking picture again, because Jesus Christ, that that is that that is that is a fuck. It looks like a curled up face hugger to me. It's like, and this, I'm not getting anywhere near that. That that's the color out of space shit right there, man. Leave that the fuck alone. Um, <laughs> we've learned that a riding mower, not the ideal getaway vehicle. We're looking for horsepower here. If you couldn't get away in an actual car, <laughs> a mower is not going to be better. We learned a thing. I One of the things I never thought I'd have to say, cook the food first. I didn't. No, you don't understand. E. coli and salmonella. Oh, you, the, the wonderful things your colon will do. And they don't have room for you at the hospital right now. No, they don't. If there's a bit of a situation. You can literally shit yourself to death. That's yeah, not even an exaggeration. And they don't have room for you to be hooked up on an IV fluid bag right now. Yeah. Because you decided to eat raw ground chuck. We've learned while looking a flamethrower to a drone might work in the short term. Maybe consider the long-term consequences of what you've unleashed. Yeah. Um. We've learned there's no escape from the wing of a plane. It's you're the, you're done. It's like it's like a cat on a fucking ledge. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. Uh, so that and one final thing this week. Let's uh, get it loaded up because. Uh, I'm putting this at the end to make people watch to the end. See if it fucking works. Um, it is, of course, we are still watching the Yavla Goat to see if it has burned. Um, checking right now to the live webcam in Yavla, Sweden. Um, and has the goat burned? It is 6 a.m. in Yavla, Sweden. And goat's still there. That's That's our live webcam. Goat's still there. The goat remains. For now. For the now! The goat remains. Oh, we can't do that. Metallica's going to sue us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just bleep that out.